John, um, did you tell me how much the wharf project is going to cost? Yes, sir, I did. I told you that last week. I wrote that in my report. Mm -hmm. How long is it going to take to complete? It's going to take about a year. The first section was much smaller, and it took six months. Uh, how soon can they start work? They said they could start work by about the middle of next month. That's all in my report. I thought it was right here. Well, John, um, did you tell me how much the wharf project is going to cost? Yes, sir, I did. I told you that last week. I wrote that in my report. Mm -hmm. How long is it going to take to complete? It's going to take about a year. The first section was much smaller, and it took six months. Uh, how soon can they start work? They said they could start work by about the middle of next month. That's all in my report. I thought it was right here. Well, John, um, did you tell me how much the wharf project is going to cost? Yes, sir, I did. I told you that last week. I wrote that in my report. Mm -hmm. How long is it going to take to complete? It's going to take about a year. The first section was much smaller, and it took six months. Uh, how soon can they start work? They said they could start work by about the middle of next month. That's all in my report. I thought it was right here. John, did you tell me how much the wharf project is going to cost? Yes, I did. I told you that last week. I wrote it in my report. How many times can I look in the same pile? Perhaps it fell on the floor, sir. I thought that too, but it isn't there. How quickly can you print another copy? I kept it on my new projects file in my computer. I can get it right now. I knew I could count on you. How many times can I look in the same pile? Perhaps it fell on the floor, sir. I thought that too, but it isn't there. How quickly can you print another copy? I kept it on my new projects file in my computer. I can get it right now. I knew I could count on you. How many times can I look in the same pile? Perhaps it fell on the floor, sir. I thought that too, but it isn't there. How quickly can you print another copy? I kept it on my new projects file in my computer. I can get it right now. I knew I could count on you. How many times can I look in the same pile? Perhaps it fell on the floor. I thought that too, but it isn't there. How quickly can you print another copy? I kept it on my new projects file in my computer. Mr. Maxwell? Yes, John. I got a fax from the president of the Wharf Commission. Uh, I sent him an answer just now, and I told him we'd get back to him this afternoon. Mr. Maxwell. How many pages in that report? Mr. Maxwell? Yes? I'm terribly sorry. My computer crashed, 
and I forgot to back up that report. I'm afraid I lost it. Mr. Maxwell? Yes, John. I got a fax from the president of the Wharf Commission. Uh, I sent him an answer just now, and I told him we'd get back to him this afternoon. Mr. Maxwell. How many pages in that report? Mr. Maxwell? Yes? I'm terribly sorry. My computer crashed, and I forgot to back up that report. I'm afraid I lost it. Mr. Maxwell? Yes, John. I got a fax from the president of the Wharf Commission. Uh, I sent him an answer just now, and I told him we'd get back to him this afternoon. Mr. Maxwell. How many pages in that report? Mr. Maxwell? Yes? I'm terribly sorry. My computer crashed, and I forgot to back up that report. I'm afraid I lost it. I got a fax from the president of the Wharf Commission. I sent him an answer just now, and I told him we'd get back to him this afternoon. I'm terribly sorry. My computer crashed. I forgot to back up the report. I'm afraid we lost it. Oh, hi. Welcome back to the classroom, where today, in Book Unit 6, we are going to be talking more about the simple past tense. Now, you may remember that we first discussed the simple past tense in Unit 15 of Book 1. Well, today, we'll review some of that material, but we'll also be talking about some of the irregular forms of the simple past tense. So let's get a different perspective now, shall we? Let's talk first about and review first the regular verbs. And what we do for regular verbs is to add those letters ED. The simple past of regular verbs ends in ED. The verb play, dance, ask, learn and invite. Let's make those into past tense. We add ed to play, it becomes played. Dance already ends in an e, so we just add the d. Danced. Ask. Asked. Learn. Learned. Invite. Invited. Now, irregular forms, however, of the past tense. The base form of the verb go, tell, take, and write. Now, let's take a look at the past of these four irregular verbs. The past tense of go is went. The past tense of tell is told. The past tense of take is took. The past tense of write is wrote. Now, what is the rule for forming irregular verbs? Guess what? There is no rule. This is just one of those things that you will need to memorize. We need to learn the past tense of these irregular verbs. 
I go to school today. I went to school yesterday. I will tell you, but I told you yesterday. I take a look today, but yesterday I took a look. I write a letter today. Yesterday I wrote a letter. These also, by the way, luckily, stay the same for all of the different subject pronouns. So you wrote, he wrote, she wrote. Let's take a look at some more. I say to you today what I said to you yesterday. I think I remember his name. Yesterday, I thought I saw him on the street. Fall. I'm watching these verbs fall from the top of the screen. The leaves fell off the tree. Fall, fell. Get a life is what people say. Uh, he got the answer from the dictionary. So get, got. Fall, fell. Think, thought. Say, said. OK, let's go on. Now remember, the present tense tells us about things that happen every day. They play in the garden every day. They go to school every weekday, right? Now how about the past? Yesterday, they played in the garden. Last week, they went to school all five days, right? They played, they went. Affirmative statements. Present, I go, you go, he goes, she goes, etc. Past, I went, you went, he went, she went. No change in the third person singular for the past tense, is there? How about negative? I don't go. You don't go. He and she doesn't. We don't, you don't, they don't go. But past tense, I didn't go, you didn't go, he didn't go, she didn't go. It's the helper verb do that is what we use the past form of for those past negative statements. How do we make questions? In the present, I would say, do you go? In the past, I would say, did you go? Again, it's the helper verb that shows us it's in the past. Do you go in the present? Did you go in the past? Let's practice the simple past conjugation of the irregular verb go in the affirmative. I went, you went, he went, she went, it went, we went, you went, they went. Now, how do we make these into negative statements? Well, we eliminate that word went because what? We're going to be adding the uh, did not. So I went becomes I did not go. You went becomes you did not go. He went becomes he did not go. She went becomes she did not go. It went becomes it did not go. We went becomes we 
did not go.